Very welcome back to the channel guys and gals. Today we'll be looking at keeping track of changes made to our databases. So we'll be using the Visual Studio template called SQL Server Database Projects to do this. They've been available since Visual Studio 2013 I believe, but I haven't really checked them out until now. All right, so let's do File New Project. And under Other Languages here we have a SQL Server node and I'm going to select the SQL Server Database Project. Uh, and this template, you don't have to install any database specific stuff in Visual Studio in order to get this. I'll be calling this project testDB. And since we're interested in tracking changes, uh, I'm going to keep the, this checkbox active, create new Git repository. So this will basically create a project on disk, hook it up to a solution. And um, <clears throat> basically this is the place where we'll be doing all our updates to the database. We'll be adding tables and uh, modifying tables and, and whatnot. And this is the way that uh, Git will basically be able to change track everything we do. So I'll just right click the test DB project here, check out the properties. And I just want to point out something here. We have the target platform here. We can specify SQL Server 2016, which is, I think, what I'm using locally now. And if you were to deploy this to Azure, there's a Microsoft Azure SQL Database V12 down here. And um, I'm going to right click on the project now and just add a table here. I'm going to call it customers. <clears throat> And um, we'll see here, we get this designer. And um, it looks, you're probably familiar with this, only that the only exception here is that we don't have like an update button over here. Because we're basically working on a file now. So I'm going to add a new column here. I'm going to call it company name. It's going to be an Envarshar of, whoops, if I can spell that of 256 and it's not going to be nullable. Okie dokie. So now to persist this, I just basically save this file. So I'll go control S to save. And uh, let's keep track of our changes here in the Team Explorer. And we'll see that, okay, we have the database project here, SQL proj, and we have customer SQL. So that's basically what we've done so far. Uh, let's add something else. I'm going to add another item here. Uh, let's say I want to add a new schema to the database here. So we can see there's plenty of templates here. And if I go under SQL Server, we have a huge amount of them. So here we should have a schema. So I'm going to pick schema, I'm going to call it, uh, let's say, foo. And uh, I'll save that one as well. So basically now we have customers SQL, foo SQL and test DB. Uh, those are the changes that we're about to commit here. So I'm going to do an initial commit here. And um, now let's say we go and modify this table here. DBO is no longer the, the schema we want, we want foo. I'll just save that one. And we see here we have one change in our, um, in our one commit basically to do here. So if I compare that to the unmodified version, we can see that we have exactly what we want here. We just changed the schema of the table. So I find this to be really useful. So I'm going to say uh, changed uh, schema and commit that thing. And um, <clears throat> so how do we go about publishing this or just testing, testing this thing out? So we can just, there's plenty of ways to do this actually. I can right click the project now and um, you can do snapshot. If you do snapshot project here, we get a DAC pack. So if you're using any client tools to, to update your project 
or rather update your database using DACPAC, you can go that way. And you can also do something like just hitting publish here. So I'm going to go, going to go and say hit publish and uh, I'll specify a local database here. So I'm going to say test DB. And uh, the easiest way I found to do this is basically now to now that we set up the connection string and stuff, we can do hit create profile here and just hit publish. So now what I'm doing now is basically taking my the logical representation of the database that resides in the project and publishing it to a local database. So when this is done, we should be able to find it in our SQL Server Object Explorer. So I'll go in here and have a look. And here we see a test database or test DB. So that thing should have our tables and our schemas. Um, we can also do something like uh, if we want to just do a schema compare. So let's say we just mod modified something small here. We can do a schema compare. So our source here is already specified to the logical representation of our database. That is our project. And here we can just specify a target. So basically, you know, pick any local database or any database residing on a on Azure or whatever. Oh, and before we close now, whenever we make a change to the database project here, let's say we add a new table or whatever, we just hit the test DB publish XML file that was created and just hit publish. And that will, in a super snappy way, just update uh, the database that we specified there. All right, guys and gals, that's it for this week. Hit subscribe to be notified and uh, please check out my website for more videos. Have an awesome week, everyone. Toodaloo.